Hello everyone. So in these next few videos that you'll see in this playlist, hopefully it's going to address a lot of the topics in plant biology for this new 2014 syllabus. There are some previous videos that are still relevant to this particular unit, but as we go through, I'll be making some new things just to address little questions and details that actually come up. So one of the first things is in 9.1, we're looking at the transport that happens inside the xylem of plants. And there's two types of tissues that we're talking about um, that are tr helping to transport things throughout plants and the plant tissue, and they are xylem and phloem. So this first section, we're going to be talking about xylem in particular. So there's a fancy term that basically means water getting lost in a plant and it's called transpiration and transpiration the definition is the inevitable consequence of gas exchange in the leaf it sounds very dramatic and very negative but uh, it is kind of true we have this thing that we really need for plants to do their job and that is something called photosynthesis and as you know the process of photosynthesis involves producing uh, glucose and other types of organic substances using carbon dioxide and in order for us to get carbon dioxide into the plant we have to get them into the leaves the problem is this cuticle it's not very uh, easily penetrated by gases and so there are these little holes in the bottom of leaves that you've heard of before called stomata an individual stoma is literally a little hole where carbon dioxide gas can come in and the waste product oxygen can go out but as a result of having this particular hole right here uh, water can also actually escape now losing water is a pretty negative thing, but because of the properties of water, the water can continuously get pulled up through the plant. And you do need water inside the plant for various types of functions, including making sure that the cells are turgid and it actually gives these cells support because they don't have a bone structure like my wonderful body does. So you've heard in the water unit about different properties of water and one of these things is uh, something called cohesion which basically means sticking together and another word that kind of means sticking together is adhesion. You'll find out more in those particular units but in general water molecules are cohesive because the water molecules stick to each other. So cohesion means when similar substances stick together. When a water molecule sticks to another water molecule, it's said to be cohesive and it's because of the hydrogen bonding that's in between them. So as the water is leaving the stomata here, it's actually being pulled up through the xylem tissue and we're going to be looking at xylem in a lot more detail. And as it's getting pulled up, each water molecule is linked to the next water molecule by cohesion by this hydrogen bonding process. Also, the water acts the water molecules stick to the inside, stick to the inside of the xylem tubes, which we'll see a little bit later as well too, because of adhesion. So adhesion just means when uh, a substance sticks to a different kind of substance. So in this case, it could be a water molecule adhering to the cell walls inside the xylem, and it builds up these tension forces that help to pull the water upwards. So those pores are called stomata. We, we mentioned this, the problem with the plants, that the stomata allow for carbon dioxide and gases to get in, but it allows water vapor to escape. And that in general, this entire process here is actually called transpiration. It's perfect for doing all kinds of experiments related to transpiration. You'll be seeing that in other videos throughout this list as well too. But in general, uh, what is transpiration? It's basically the movement or the loss of water through a plant, through the stomata, and how the water actually gets pulled up through. So here's a, another close-up look at a diagram. This is a transverse section through a leaf. So if you're taking a look at this, this is the palisade mesophyll layer. So these, this layer of cells is closest to the top. And so the, obviously there's going to be a lot of chlorophyll uh, in these actual cells in order to do photosynthesis. You can see there's a lot of spaces here for gas exchange and the water basically gets pulled through this spongy mesophyll layer and will actually exit through. So this is the transpiration stream. Um, we haven't seen a close-up diagram of what's happening in the actual xylem tissue, but once it reaches the leaf, this is how the water actually, these arrows are showing the direction that the water is taking to actually leave the cell. So make sure to follow up with some of the other videos on transpiration and you'll look at everything from specific structures and their functions in xylem tissues and also factors that affect the rate of transpiration. This will be good for designing your own experiment for an IA in the future as well too. Thanks.